One of the first videos I uploaded on this channel was a desk setup tour. Since then, the place in which I get all my work done has significantly changed and with my recent investment into a number of devices to improve my desk, I thought it a good time to update you all on the devices that I use and more importantly, why I use them. I'll briefly go over each product, then explain why I bought it, and finally, if I'm happy with the purchase. Starting with the desk itself, for almost a year now, I have been using the Tech Orbit's electric standing desk, and after that said year of constant use, it still works and looks as good as it did on day one. I originally bought this device because I wanted to be able to work while standing as I would fidget a lot when I work. However, in actuality, it's pretty rare that I will put the desk in its standing position to get work done. I use it in its standing function to record the audio for these videos as I think the audio sounds much more natural when I'm standing versus when I'm sitting. From the frame that goes up and down to the desktop itself, this device has genuinely surprised me in how well it has held up as in all honesty, I expected something to go wrong after six months or so. Whether it be something small like the desktop breaking in some way because of the two monitors and microphone I have mounted to it, or the entire unit no longer working. But here we are almost an entire year later and the cheapest standing desk I could find on Amazon is still working good as new. Then connected to the desk, I have my microphone setup. This includes the Yeti Blue Compass Boom Arm, newer Phantom Power Unit, and the CAD GXL 2200. I bought the combination of these three devices in order to ensure the audio of my videos is as high quality as I can afford. After well over a year of use, I am really happy with how well the combination of the three have functioned. When I'm working at my desk without the need for a microphone, I keep the Phantom Power Unit off and the boom arm up and out of the way. But when I need to record audio for a video, I simply put the desk in its standing position, pull the boom arm down, turn on the phantom power, and I'm ready to record for any and all videos that I make for this channel. Onto the computer that I use, this is a refurbished by Apple late 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inch. I'll put the specs on the screen for those of you who are interested in that kind of thing. I originally invested in this laptop so I could continue to upgrade the various devices I use to create content without the computer I use slowing me down. Like upgrading my content to 4K from 1080p, which meant editing in 4K, buying a 4K monitor, and exporting a bigger 4K file. After well over half a year of use, I have been pleasantly surprised by how well this laptop has worked as it's not uncommon for me to be using both the 4K HDR monitors on my desk to edit a video while simultaneously having a few Safari tabs and Apple Music all open at once. And despite the heavy workload, the laptop will seldom even stutter and has only ever crashed on me four to five times in the times that I've had it. To hold up my laptop, I use the HoneKid vertical laptop stand and it's served its purpose perfectly well. Behind the laptop, I have a HomePod mini I primarily use to play music and control the lights in my room. Onto the two monitors I use, they are both the LG Ergo Ultrafine 32 inch monitors. I'll have the specs of these monitors listed on the screen for those of you who are interested. I bought both of these to allow me to produce higher quality content in a more efficient manner and after some extended use I am really happy with just how well they have performed. Before these monitors I was using a 1080p 27 inch monitor from Philips in combination with my MacBook Pro's 16 inch screen so switching from that to what I use now is like night and day and I have 8,000 pixels in front of me while editing videos, a mind boggling number I have yet to truly appreciate. To buy these two monitors alone, it costs nearly 1400 US dollars that I can justify as a content creator, but for anyone who is not pursuing content creation, I would have a hard time justifying such an investment. Then as a mouse and keyboard, I use a Logitech MX Master 3 in combination with Apple's Magic Keyboard with a numerical keypad. I bought the two of these in hopes of having high quality peripherals that will help me create high quality content in the most efficient manner possible. And after quite a bit of use, I'm happy with how both of these devices have performed as they work good as new and keep my desk entirely wire free while adding a level of premium appearance to the entire setup. To the far right of the desk, I have an old Bose speaker connected to my MacBook Pro I plan on upgrading in the very near future, but for the time being, it has served its purpose perfectly well. I'm unsure of what speaker to invest in and would love to hear any recommendations you may have down in the comments. Finally, as I'm sure you well know by now, all these devices have accumulated a large array of wires that can easily create a huge mess. In order to combat this mess, I have used a combination of Velcro tabs to hold the power banks to the desk and my 
absolute favorite cable management device. The Solwit self-adhesive cable management clips that allowed me to quickly organize all the wires under my desk. And as an added bonus, when I get a new device like the speaker I mentioned earlier, adding in new cables or taking away old ones will be as easy as undoing some clips. In conclusion, my desk setup has come a long way since the days of the IKEA Linmon and a four-year-old MacBook, and I'm both really happy and grateful for the setup I now have. If you have any suggestions on how I could improve the area in which I get all my work done, I would love to hear them in the comments. Thank you for watching and please do consider subscribing as only 1% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed and as a small content creator, any support really does help.